23. Welcome to the show. Yes, dear. Yes, I will. I'm joined today by my beautiful wife. We have a cat. His name is Barnabas. Joined today by Barnabas as well. Uh, today is going to be an awesome day. We are playing some Exolver today. I have a new beer we're going to try. It's a chocolate milk beer. Not really sure what to expect out of this. Uh, so yes, I'm still playing Exolver. Still think it's fantastic. Still loving it. My wife is still beautiful. Uh, if you did miss last week's episode, she threw crackers at my forehead as I got destroyed. <clears throat> so it was a lot of fun. It's a blast. We got a lot of wonderful topics planned for you today. We're going to talk about some movies that I saw. Uh, uh, come on, you can open. And then we're going to try this beer. And hopefully I won't get destroyed too hard. Well, I'll play this game. Alright. So the beer has been opened. And we're going to try this beer before we start anything and while I recheck my deck. Alright, here we go. We're going to try this. Huh. So just to recap before we go into... I really don't know. Just to go into this review of this beer. Ah. So this is a chocolate milk stout made by the Blackstone Company. Uh, the Blackstone Brewing Company, excuse me. Got to make sure you get that right. Uh, not really much of a flavor uh, in terms of description on this beer. All it says is award-winning ales since 1994. It's really, like, I can't decide if I like this beer or not. It's not horrible. You try, honey. You try it. Like, it does, it does have, like, a, a chocolate milk taste to it. That's weird, isn't it? I don't hate it. I don't hate it either, but I can't decide, like, if I, uh, if I actually like this beer or not. It has a chocolate hint to it. it have a nasty no, it's not sweet like you would expect normal chocolate milk to be. It says chocolate milk style. Oh, no, it, does. it has a friggin' cow on it. A cow with horns. Why does the cow have horns? It's Honey, cows don't have horns. Bulls do. Does that mean that's bull semen? Is that well, chocolate bull milk? Like, they don't people like you work at the labeling company. Well, they should let me work at that labeling company. Because maybe I would get this freaking logo right. What kind of cat? Hey, B, welcome to the show. We're joined today by my beautiful co-host, B. She's in the comments section. Um, it's not, it's not horrible. I'm just really upset. Like, the logo on it has, like, this green pasture with cows in the back. Yup, boom. <laughs> Has casters in the back, and it's got one cow. I don't think it's a cow. I think this is a transgender cow. All right, and it's holding a beer bottle, but this cow has horns. It has udders and horns. Only bulls have horns, right? It's jizz. That's what I'm saying. Cows do not have horns. Look, I'm a dude. All right, maybe this is a chick beer. And they're no, I have not seen your leggings, dear. And they just they're into this, but I'm kind of like. That cow may have udders, but it also has a dick. And that's just weird. Cow dick is wrong. Rechecking my deck. Anyway, talking about cow dick and rechecking my deck. <laughs> oh, good times. But I will say this, I'm still trying it. It's not bad. Like it... Some cows do have horns. Thanks, B. B has confirmed it. Some cows do have horns. It has a good taste. It. So, B. The milk is really throwing me off. If it's. It would be a lot better. So, if you take 
I think my wife has made an excellent point. If you take the milk out of this, there's no milk in it, but if you take it out of the name, if it's just chocolate stout, I think that's a much better description of how this tastes. It's a mild chocolate. Well, you can tell my mind that this isn't cow jizz. Alright, let's practice. I got an awesome sword deck. Finally worked on this bad boy. How am I going to drink this beer and play Absolver? Then it's a mocha stout. Ooh, mocha stout. Oh, my battery's dying. Gotta find another controller after I'm done making sure I understand the stack. Avercal jizz. What's Avercal? Stab, 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 stab. I like it when they run. Mmm, I'm a vic. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Some mocha stout. A vic jeez. So for those in our audience who don't understand French, a vec means uh, with. So a vic cowjiz is with cowjiz. <laughs> this is how we start our conversation. How wonderful. <laughs> Alright. So I need to find another controller when that's not dead. Uh, oh look, another controller. Hopefully one that's not dead. Thank you, honey. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna get warmed up. It sounds better in French. That's just me. I make everything make everything sound sexy in French. It's a mocha. Mocha stout. Mocha stout avec kajis. Mod ho ho ho. I don't know where your leggings are. Alright, so I gotta get warmed up. I gotta make sure my parries are spawn on. Barney. Barnabas. After I kick you in the face! Alright, swing at me, bro. Yes. Nope. This is why we warm up. Those long moves always get me. Always. Uh, so for those of you still wondering if Absolver is still a good game, I absolutely adore it. I cannot put it down. Uh, I'm usually not a huge fan of PvP. I actually really enjoy, other than losing, the PvP in this game. A lot of fun. If you didn't see my review from last time, uh, you'll know that I thought this was a great game. A little lacking on actual single player content, lore, all that stuff. Um, I have played a little bit more of it. Uh, there is a lot of room for lore. Mocha sta da vex sperm devash. Mocha stout with uh, Vash the Scout. Uh, would it be Duvash? It'd be Duvash. Not day, it'd be Du. Uh, mocha stout of X, Baron Duvash. Wouldn't that be it? That's like a Spanish accent. What was that? No, ma, I gotta remember my French if we're working on my Japanese. Uh, mocha stout of X, Baron, Sperm, the Du. It'd be Du. Du. It'd be Duvash, wouldn't it? Uh oh. Ha! Ah, I should have just let you, you dick. Four honor special. That's right. Come at me. Come on, I gotta parry somebody. I gotta make sure I don't get destroyed online. Uh oh. 
could be bad. This could be very bad. What do I do? What do I do? Take them. Take them all. Ah! God dang it. Get away. I gotta heal. Stop it. Hunt down a Frenchie and find out. God darn it, you run! I'm getting ganked so bad right now. Not even funny. See me avoid that low move? Wasn't that awesome? Ha! Ah, parried! Uh oh. Oh, did not parry that. Tag team. Is that a gangbang? It's like a gangbang, right? Ow! You dick! Ah! Alright, I'm totally gonna get destroyed probably in my first few rounds, but that's okay. Oh, you're alive. Why didn't you join the party? Ba boom Ah, oh, I love this game. So much fun. Alright, so Nathan, you never... Ah, screw it. I don't care. Claudio, you never gave us a grade on your beer. What's this grade? I don't want to fight you. Mm. Only a gang banging. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Thanks, B. So, this beer, I'm not going to lie, like it's not bad, the flavor's good. If you're in the mood for something different, and you like chocolate, I feel like this could really hit the spot. For me, I really like a, hey, Barney, Barnabas, you quit attacking my feet. I feel like a beer should be something refreshing and extremely crisp, that kind of is like a, a, a pop to it. I this does not have that. Uh, it is very smooth, which is unusual for beer. Like like I said, I like to be crisp. Um, it doesn't have a pop. So I feel like this is one of those three out of fives. The reason I say that is not because it's a bad flavor. It has a great flavor. It's just because I feel like people have an expectation from beer and what it's supposed to be. I do not feel like this meets the standard for some people. I feel like some people will love this, try this, and love this. Um, mm, I would say more of a spring beer. More of a spring or summer beer. Like when you're, when you don't want anything that has like any sort of pop to it or anything like that, you might be into this. Um, but you know, I just don't know. I don't think this would be a fall and winter beer. It's too cold. Like it's, it's too, um, it's not spicy enough, you know, like pumpkin spice, and you have, like, all the sauces and sweet, flavorful stuff, and this just doesn't fall in that category. It's not sweet enough to be a fall or winter beer or anything like that. Um, maybe some people might consider that. I personally would not. Um, it would be cool. Like I said, some people really love this. Some people, this just doesn't chive well with them. For me, it's it's not bad. I will drink it. And I will drink all of the six pack and I will enjoy it. But if I'm tired after a long days of work, I'm probably not going to grab this. I'm probably going to grab something a, a little poppier to wet my palate. Like I said, if you're interested, if it sounds like your thing, this chocolate stout, try it. If you dig it, I think you'll love it. Uh, you might be like, eh, it's okay. And then some people I would imagine will hate this beer. But if you like trying new things, absolutely try the Chocolate Stout by the Blackstone Brewing Company. It's really not a bad beer. I'm just, it's different, and I'm not used to it. Okay? Maybe after a few, I'll let y'all know in another review. All right. Are we ready for some combat trials? So, oh, so, so I got to show you all this. This is actually super duper, super cool. So if you look next to my combat trials, level 52, you'll see unlock. Let me show you this. Uh... Find a school creation thing. 
So we talked to this guy. This is why nobody has a face. If you look at his face, you now understand why no one else has a face. Uh, he goes into a, a little bit of uh, the lore. Like I said, they have some lore in this game. It's just not very deep. Uh, but it is interesting. Like, I want to know more about it. So from here, you can create your own school. All right. Uh, you can pick whichever combat deck you want to give people. Uh, and then from there, uh, once they fight you, if they're like, wow, that guy was really awesome, they can learn your moves. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, this is if you want to. I'm not letting anybody know my deck, except for probably any of my closest friends that play this game. Uh, I worked really long and hard on this deck. I'm really proud of this deck, so I'm not letting anyone screw with it. I am going to make sure that I do have everything equipped. I've had some problems. Maybe somebody else has had problems with this. Uh, like, if I equip the blue ones, these are the ones that my school allows people to learn. Uh, they don't show up. And that has really screwed me over in a couple of fights. So, we're going to make sure those equipped. Alright, are we ready for some PvP? Let's do this. Let's hope I don't get wrecked. I've never actually played this game while drinking a beer, so we'll see how this goes. Hmm. I will say, the matchmaking has been awesome. It's been very quick. I've never had to wait very long for matchmaking. The actual battles themselves are a crapshoot. You get a new mask? Yes, I did get a new mask, and I wear it because I think people look at it and are like, "What the piss is that?" Look at this mask. Oh, that's not me. That's Captain Banana. That's me. Yeah. Look at that mask. Uh, I got that from PVP. I'm going to bow to you, sir. Shall we bow? I bow. You don't bow. You're a dick. I'm gonna kick you. Uh, didn't work. I kicked you. I'm gonna kick you again. I'm gonna kick you again. Now I'm gonna punch you. Oh, good sweep. Bad move. Charge stack. Ha 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 ha. You look like a bug. It's actually supposed to be a stag. Which I don't. Kicked you. Oh, I didn't kick you. Figure out his moves. Kick. Punch. Punch again. Ah. Ah, oh, hold still. You're almost dead. Thank you. You look up at It's supposed to be a stag. I don't understand. It's supposed to be the snout of a stag. Um, I wear it because I think people get intimidated. But, uh, anyway. How do you like that deck? See that? It's pretty cool, right? I just got the crap beat out of him. Watch the charge stack. Bam! Oh, I was hoping you zoom in. You didn't. Oh, blocked. Now that little swirly attack confuses the crap out of me. What kind of freaking deer they got over there? The dead kind. Ha! Ha 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 ha. Oh, so if you're wondering why I'm laughing, uh, if he does his little heal thing, and then I hit him, he quits healing. Crap. Kick! Oh, good parry. Duck, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, oh wait, no, not punch, that was the wrong move, ah, you're gonna die anyway, dead bro, you're dead, <laughs> ah, I love this deck, it's so much fun, it's great, so this game is awesome, absolutely love this game, I actually really enjoy it, uh, oh, he's mad, that's okay, you can be mad. Use your little spammy attacks. That's okay, because I'm going to charge stack. Can't block that. I'm just going to keep hitting you with 100 plus damage every single strike. Kick. Kick. Punch. Kick. Oh, good block. So here's a problem with everyone else's deck, this guy's deck. He runs the exact same deck as everyone else. One, it's the same as everyone else. Two, 
He has no hard moves. He has hit me so many times and has done nothing. I'm like the Mike Tyson of this game. If I hit you, I'm gonna knock you out. Just like that! Mm, yeah, taste of victory! Now that does not always work. If the connection's choppy, I cannot parry. If I cannot parry, you're absolutely gonna destroy me. Oh, you want a rematch? Okay. Hold on. Mm. Let's go, dude. Oh, B! My wife says hello! Hey, that's what you get for not bowing. Bow. Hello. And half your health is gone. Didn't pet your pigeons? What are you talking about? Didn't pet my pigeons. I don't understand. Hello, lady, he, she says. Hold on, honey. I can't hear you. The sound of me crushing his spine. What, honey? She said, she says you, uh, <laughs> uh, my wife says you need to come see her, B. Didn't that my tights, I get it now. <laughs> That's so horrible. Oh, I see. So he's trying to parry because I have a bunch of slow moves. better yeah I know I get it now I forgot I said Mike Tyson that little swooshy move gets me where he waves his hands and he hits me on the other side gets me every time but that gets him <laughs> mess up one time bro it's over Like that. Wahahaha. <laughs> took you long enough. What are you talking about? Oh, shut up. You shut up. I'm too busy kicking his banana. I get it, because he's Captain Banana. Ooh, good kick. Good parry. Oh. Now. Oh man, you are getting. <laughs> well, I will come see her so long as she don't get me white girl wasted again. <laughs> I woke up with bruises I can't remember getting. <laughs> she did too. She has a nasty bruise on her calf. And I'm sitting here wondering, how did you... He wants to fight again. I'm done. I am done fighting you. I have beat you three times straight. She'll just give you one next time, B. I totally got her messed up. You did. She has a nasty bruise on the back of her cap. I'm talking, it is black. I did not throw up. But she didn't throw up like I you. You're a pussy, B. You threw up everywhere. Yeah, I don't care if you had 10 shots apiece. You're like 4 foot 9. Yeah, but I... And you didn't throw up. The man, I freaking cheated. The husband told me she needed a tissue and came here and threw up. Savannah... Vanna cheated? Hers is from the... Hers is... <laughs> your... Your bruise is from the failed cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> So, viewing audience, I would love for you to leave a comment. Uh, so, I'm going to ask y'all a question. What is up with drunk people and building fires? 
in the like as soon as it starts raining, I run outside to pick my drunk wife and sister up off the ground, and they're out there trying to build a fire in the pouring rain. Just sitting on the ground. They just tipped over, drunk as could be, and I'm trying to pick y'all up. Your wife made me sick my fingers. <laughs> my fingers down my throat so I didn't vomit in the top on the way out. <laughs> she didn't. She says your wife made me stick my fingers down my throat so I didn't vomit on in the Tahoe on the way home. She said you're welcome, B. Ah. Now watch, I talked all this smack from the last guy from being Captain Banana. Now I'm gonna get destroyed. His name is Captain Banana. I don't know. And I refuse to quit. I was getting it lit. <laughs> you sure were, B. Yes, you were. You were just getting so lit. She was so... Everything goes south at Fear Chasers. <laughs> it's when it's game over. You put Cheetos in her purse? Why did you put Cheetos? You thought she'd be hungry on the way home. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, we're waiting for this to start. So, every once in a while, there'll be an issue to where uh, it just will not start. This happens very, very rarely. <clears throat> I don't really know how long I've played this game. Let's look. It's happened to me. This will be the fourth time. This will be the fourth time this has happened to me. So it's very rare. They're still making updates. It's only a team of 25 people, so I'm not upset. They made a really great game. Uh, let's look. I have played... What? I have played this more than 11 hours. That is a lie. I am not loading that. Because I feel like that'll be, you know, like level 25. I have played this game for much longer than 11 hours. It's only happened to me four times. I got so happy. She said, B said, I got so happy over those Cheetos. You wait until they get done watching TV crashing your party. Who's, wait till who gets done watching TV crashing your party? She, we're confused. We don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. Honey, who's she talking about? I don't understand. We don't understand. We're lost. Oh, uh, you understand? We don't know. Oh, you and her. Oh, my wife and my sister are crashing your party. You didn't crash my party. Yeah, I'm going to crash your party when Phil gets done watching TV. What are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to get on. She's going to get on and be like, hey, Nathan. Dodge! No! No! Barney, hello, Barnabas. What you doing? I call him Barnabas because he's a cat. Because he's a cat. That cat comes to her beck and call. If she. That's so stupid. If she baby. Oh, crap. If she baby talks, that stupid cat, it comes. So. No. Oh, God. My one weakness in this game is ledges. I freaking hate ledges. I get I don't have anything to open up with. I get ringed out so easy. Like I have to parry. And it's so much pressure. Swing. Come on. Do your swing. Do your thing. Oh, wait a minute. Swing. Oh, good. Ah. Charge me. Get up, ledge. I don't want to knock you off. I'm gonna fight you fair and square. I like your deck already. Get off the ledge.
Oh, good sweep. Yes. All right, he's got a pretty good deck. Uh, hold on, B, and I will. Let me finish this. I will join your party. This guy's got a good deck. I hate the stagger style, though. But it, I like his power moves. It's a good mix. Yes, I know. Didn't have one. Didn't have one of what? Yes! Good fight. Didn't have one what? Party invitation? You sent me a party invitation. Party? Yeah, I know I didn't have one. That's because I'm beating this dude right now. Diallo Gamba. Sounds like a weird Star Wars name. Ooh. Ooh. Don't you ring me out, pansy. Oh, what a puss cake. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, my deck's pretty good, isn't it? Do you like it? Do you like it? A little kung fu kicks in there? That's nice, right? Oh, he's only level 47. Now I feel bad. That makes a big difference. Well, your level makes a huge difference in who you fight. Alright, let's invite this party. Yeah. Let's join this party party one second everyone we're gonna join a party communism it's a party we have joined this party yes what is up B What, who the ho? You the ho! I was about to say, did you have to shut your stuff down to come to the party? It'll automatically go into a rematch within 30 <sighs> seconds. So, Well, now yeah. it's all blue. It's all blue? Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll go into it for a second. Your stream is blue. Mm -hmm. You're not hosting shit. Yeah, I am. Okay. You're back. Yeah, I had to, I had to accept your party invite. It's too confusing trying to talk about the ruckus that we caused it last is. weekend. Yeah, y'all, you yeah. didn't cause a ruckus. My ass, I did not cause a ruckus. <laughs> Bud kind of just stays to himself. That's what Bud does. Bud's just chill. Okay, but Monica, I Monica, noticed. Monica thought you were just so cute. I really doubt those words came out of her mouth. Oh, your Amazon sister is chugging beers <laughs> in your kitchen. Uh, she's adorable. I'm, I'm... <laughs> we had a really great conversation about the first time you had to carry someone that was drunk, the babysitters. And they were all like, oh, yeah, I was 16, 17. And I was like, I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> And we ended up in the hospital. We did. Place. We ended up in the hospital. Why, honey? They didn't make fun of me for you having to carry me all the way in No, honey. They didn't make fun of you. No. So, I, well, I mean, I know we're, we were making fun of me because I'm like, why does Nathan keep trying to pick me up every time I'm drunk? Every time. He's like, oh, come on. Come on. 
Come on, B. We gotta, we gotta get you up. No, I'm staying out here. Because the poured rain, and you were trying to make a fire. <laughs> I've gotta get it lit. You this were lit. This happen. This, no, I, I mean, I was. I should have just breathed on it a little bit. It caught right back up. You're freaking wild enough to like have a bowl of vodka on that thing trying to set it up. <laughs> you poured vodka on the fireplace? Yeah. Oh yeah, she oh, read, she read. No, obviously you weren't. I thought that he kind of knew, because I mean, no, yeah, I didn't that know. Pretty stout. You didn't smell it? Like just I saw from your fire pit? The, the, Look, I saw the smell I of kerosene that we were drinking. <laughs> All I ah, god dang it! I'm a distraction. It it is. It takes a lot of concentration to parry. Like parrying's pretty hard. And I just want to be this guy. He uses stagger sound. That pisses me off. Say, so I've I've been sh I've been like sending in pi pictures of my bruise on my arm, telling everybody I got beat up by a midget Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I went out to the fire pit. And what I see is broken shot glasses all over the freaking place. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> it was just one broken shot glass. I don't know why you're complaining so much. Because it was a... I thought you were that drunk. You were like smashing shot glasses. Uh, no, we weren't smashing the shot glasses. I sat on it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I wasn't gonna admit this, but like I did laundry the next day. And you and, found. Uh, shut up, Philip. I, I was doing laundry and like I kept hearing those like chinky 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 sound in my washing machine. And then when I got done, there was like shards of glass sitting in the bottom. Are you serious? <laughs> so the entire way home, I was sitting on shards of shards of glass up my ass. That is awesome. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I, I rode home with shards of glass in my ass, and then the whole way going, I don't know why my pants are wet. It feels like you sat down in the grass. It was piss pouring the rain. You just flopped down like it was nothing. So this is my so first time. That made me, Go that ahead. Made me sit on the peak wall on the way what? home. What? What a bunch of jerks. Like, I know, like the little cloth we get for whenever Wayne spills shit. I had to sit on it because my butt was wet. Oh, I love this already. It's so wonderful. So this is my first time actually trying this uh, sword deck. So that's why. You're all and it, well, it's got this awesome opening charge move. So usually when someone gets a sword, they have a crappy deck. And if you just come in and pound the piss at him, he'll drop the sword. And you can pick it up. But a charge attack makes it where I can take a hit before I flinch at all. So I'm just like beat the piss at him with it. It's so wonderful. Okay, so what are like those little stones like floating around the center of your body? Oh, so those are uh, my shards. Uh, shards allow me to use ability. So you saw me pull out the sword, right? Yeah. So I get the sword by filling up my shards. Okay, you get shards filled up by using your defense. So if I parry someone, my shards fill up a lot. If I dodge or block, they fill up a little bit. Uh, so say you're getting the absolute crap kicked out of you. Uh, that's like your one chance to turn that fight around. Hmm. There's a, it's a really, it's a really, really fun game. I absolutely love this game. Uh, I was gonna say, it seems like it takes a lot of focus and strategy um, to play this. Strategy, yes. Focus, it depends on how you play. So there's different fighting styles. Uh, there's the Windfall, there's the Cult, and there's the Forsaken. Forsaken is. I don't know if it's the hardest, but it makes the most sense to me. Basically, attacks will come either from their left arm or their right arm. If you block whichever side it comes from, you will parry that attack and leave them open for a counterattack. Uh, cult, you just press any which way you want, and you will gain stamina, and you can regenerate health if you manage to land a hit on them after, the, after you do that. Uh, so... And then Windfall is just dodging, and it's for pussies. I hate Windfall. But yeah. So, if you've watched these fights, right? Yeah. You've seen how everyone's got, like, these, these super fast decks with all these super quick moves? Yeah. Mine, if you look, they're super slow, right? 
but they're more powerful. Every time I parry Insane. someone, I'm dealing three times the amount of damage that they're dealing to me. That is my strategy. And then I got these awesome moves. So you're just like over here whooping ass? Um, usually, yeah. Like I said, unless the connection's really glitchy and I can't parry them, that's the only thing. If I cannot parry you, I'm screwed. It's like your licks swirling in the air. I know. Shua, shua, shua. It's, it looks awesome, doesn't it? It does. I'd pull a groin. I would try to jump that high no, and then fall dude, backwards. I don't, I don't. I don't fucking know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty impressive. I'd top them skinny bitches doing cartwheels in your yard. Drunk. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You I get did. that cat. Both of them fail, and I was like, oh, I'm about to show those kitty bitches up, and I did hey. land that sucker like a fucking champ. Hey, honey, how come my sister can do cartwheels better than you? She can do cartwheels better than you. How come she can drink more shots than you can? That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> she said that's not fair. It's all that crazy jungle Asian shit in her. It's that crazy jungle Asian shit. <laughs> and we bow. You know, you know why? It's because she was in mama bear mode. It's because you were in mama bear mode is what it was. That totally makes a difference. Absolutely. Because, I mean, Jess is, you know how big Jess is, and she has mama bared me a couple times. She is, like, manhandled me. Like, the time I fell off the bar stool, she picked me up and sat me on a stool. <laughs> like a good champ. And Jess is like 100 pounds, jeez. She's like, she's like a buck 20 sopping wet. Oh, you healing pussy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's just laying here and pop it. But I wish though I wouldn't get cut off at the bar though. She's like, no nah, man, she's good, she's good. And then she they took my beer away. I got so, I got so mad because I just paid for that. They weren't gonna let me finish it. You're a pussy. Who, me? No, this guy. I don't know if you see him glitching everywhere, but he's glitching bad, and that makes it hard. He's glitching horrible. But they shouldn't take your beer away. You paid for that beer, by God. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. You get a yeah. Well, you would've. They shouldn't take your beer away, though. That's wrong. We're gonna sign a petition. I was gonna say, but your your wife does it. I got home and I found Cheetos and I got so excited. I'm like, she put, she put Cheetos and I about shed a tear. You time shed a I tear? Beautiful woman. In my drive. So it was beautiful. It's one of the nicest things anybody's ever done. It was so sweet. She gave me Cheetos. She did. I mean, Cheetos. Are a way to express love in all languages. They are. And I went down to hold a bunch down my bra, and she ate the whole handful like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times. I don't say that out loud. Yeah, you totally said that. Definitely might want to find, a, you know, another tradition. You should really, <laughs> maybe. Nah. So I have played all. You played what? Well, oh, Legacy. come on. You, did you like it? I did. I mean, like it wasn't other, you know, other. You're breaking up, B. Say... Oh no. That's good. And maybe it's just because I'm connected with this dude and this guy's connection has been, it's horrible. It's not going I'm... well at all. Is it better now? Yeah, a little bit. You still sound a little... off. You elbow this dude in the back of the fucking head. Isn't it awesome? It is awesome. I 
I hate, hate fighting glitchy people. Hate it. But I whooped him, and that's all that matters. What? It's a shame with their slow internet connection. What? What, honey? Yeah, he's he eats all the freaking time. He's fat. Are you drunk? Have you had shots? You've had one. You've had two. That's all I took yesterday. She was off her rocker. She can't handle more than me. She's just mama bear mode. I'm That's what it was. She was mama bear different. mode. That's what it was. You mama bears her. She did uh, violently. She was making me throw up before I got in the Tahoe, so I didn't throw up on the curvy road on the way home. She's like, two fingers down your throat, bitch. I was like, cool. Oh, you God. shoved her. You made her shove her fingers down her throat. <laughs> Honey, you she can't do right that. Thing. She did the right thing. You know what? Next, she, she did okay. the right thing. Okay, she's saying you did Otherwise, the right I, thing. I, I chucked all over that freaking Tahoe on the way home if I hadn't. She just admitted she would have thrown up all in that Tahoe. You can shut your mouth. She was, so this, like I said, she did the right thing. I, I would have upchucked every fucking where. I got a good wife. You do. I, I you do. The best. She's the best. You know what? You know what song we sang at our wedding? The Pokemon theme song. I want to be the very best. No, she's That's Asian, true. but did she know it? She was at her wedding. <laughs> she was. Hey! I fucking showed up. I said you did show up. Pictures and everything. Yeah, I know. You was there. No, I didn't hear you. What? Oh yeah, we did almost die by the centimobile. I'm about to beat up. I'm Jamma right now. Okay, I gotta I'm, kill. I'm. I'm, I'm Jamma. Why does no one bow? What a bunch of dicks. That makes me so mad. Have manners. Oh, you use a double sweep. You a pussy. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So I'm just gonna throw it out. You started playing the Uncharted 4? Uh, no. I have literally not put this game down. That it's okay. Understandable. Barney, get off my feet! That's not a chew toy. I'm completely fucking addicted to Uncharted, though. <laughs> this is your fault. You're welcome. I told you it was good. It was. I, d I just could not. And the first one was so hard to follow. I mean, uh, the force camera angles and everything, it just. Yeah. Uh, but the second one. I told you to start with the second oh, one. Uh, I told you, you to start with the second one. Well, I do the first one of dude I just can't I can't fucking choke it can't and choke it down and then you put the second in charge and I loved it and now I'm a freaking uncharted junkie and Phil laughs at me why does Phil laugh at you it's a good game he like I don't know anybody who gets at the first in these freaking games as you do who me me Oh. You're making fun of me for saying I get too immersed in the games. There's nothing wrong getting immersed in the games. I don't think so either. I've ran everybody out of the living room. <laughs> What'd you do? What? I just turned this shit on and started ignoring them. They left. What a bunch of pussies. They have no appreciation. None. This guy's pretty good. Oh, you know you're about to die. Well, they, they should appreciate you more. That's what should go happen. Did you leave? Were you crying? No, you're alone? I am here. Here. No, I ain't crying because I'm alone. This is how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was intentional. It is, it is quiet. I enjoy it. 
the way it should be. So this guy is pretty good. And your lady's not throwing crackers at your head to die. Yeah, no. Makes a big difference when you're getting crackers thrown at your freaking head. Phil was that Phil was contributing to this, telling her to, you know, stick cats on your head. We and then he goes, ha ha, pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he's creative like that. That's so original. I know. I got me the smart one. You sure do. Nah, I found me an idiot so I won't run away. Sometimes that's your best choice. It is. I just keep making him fatter and fatter so it is really hard for him to run. Ooh. Good job. Good job, I'm Jamma. I'm proud of you. Sounds like that was a pretty good one. He did, he did well. He's he's parrying a lot of stuff. You sound so patronizing whenever you <laughs> he did I well. did? Yeah, well I mean I, a little bit. I had to beat him twice for him to actually get anything. Still you sound patronizing. Well you that's be like, oh good job. You sound I want like him to die. Like a personal trainer. That's because I was. Yeah, that's good. Way to go, Becky. Way to go. Just, you know, put the Twinkies. Good job. It's because I want him to die secretly. <laughs> you sound like that fifth grade teacher that tells you your art's really good. You, you're doing such a good job. That's a beautiful butterfly, Samantha. It's a turtle. It's my oh, mom well, dying. It's a, beautiful... <laughs> it's a beautiful turtle, Samantha. Damn it. Come on. Just take it. Yes! You did good, I'm Jamma. I know you're going to want a rematch, but the answer is no. Because you actually knew what you were doing. <laughs> Go out on a high note, I guess. Maybe. That's right. I ain't gonna fight you again. I'll lose. <laughs> Puss cake. What? I destroyed him. You shut up. Did you see how bad I whooped him? A butt whipping. A mild spanking. A mild spanking. He did good. He did. He did. He did. He did, right. he did good. He's okay. He was. It's actually he did really good. Most people can't can't give me. Can't get me down that low. Making you work for it today. He did. He did make me work for it. I, I like that. Just not when other people are watching. And they're like, man, you suck. <laughs> like last time, you look like a punching bag. Ah, uh, that's just crow. Yeah, I know. Oh, so B, we gotta talk about this before the show's over. Have you seen what happened to Monday? Oh, with, uh, what's, with Rooney or Naomi? Naomi Rapist. Or something. Yeah, there you, there you go. Mm -hmm, the girl with I'm the sorry. dragon tattoo. No, I haven't seen it yet. I, I mean, I've seen it on there, but I haven't. I've been watching Death Note, actually, and I am absolutely in love with it, but nobody oh, else in this God. place wants to watch freaking subtitles, so it's a very slow-going process, yeah. <laughs> but I'm in absolute love with freaking Death Note. It is so good, isn't it? It is, cause like by the time I'm done, I was like, "Oh snap, Lot is about to get his ass in trouble." That's right. Oh, it's so good. So the the anime Death Note, not the movie. The anime Death Note is fantastic. Yes, the anime. Oh my god, so good. So what episode are you on? Uh, I think I'm on like episode seven or eight. I'm at the point where he has just killed the FBI agent's fiance. Oh, oh, that was such a sad episode. It was, oh, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be the end of Lot. He has to keep thinking on his toes, he keeps putting himself in, uh, predicaments. He, he gets really risky there for a little bit. Yes. Understatement. I mean, it's, I like, this is how you guys is gonna help. But, uh, yes, it is so good. It's tense, isn't it? Like, you're wondering, is she gonna it figure is. it out? I was I so sad. I was complete quiet. I was like, 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It is not a show you can watch with noise. Absolutely not. Well, I mean, you know, that and the subtitles actually, some of them fucking by pretty quick whenever the scene gets heavy. Oh, yeah. So you're like sitting there just like, we could be, 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 be quiet. I'm trying to what read. I'm trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it is. It is so good. I'm glad you got into it. I will say that it. show clears out a fucking room like no other. I turn that on and everybody just fucking disappears. Why? I mean, it's like, if they get... I don't if, know. It's like owning a freaking pit bull. They just clear the fucking way. Nobody but wants to hang around like, for that. <laughs> if people would give it a chance, I know it's anime and a lot of people are just anti-anime, whatever. But if they would give it a chance, it is such a good gateway were, into anime. It is really good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving it. Now, after you watch the anime, yeah, you can, you should watch the movie just to see, just to see it. It's really well, not that course, great. Well, of course, I'll do that compare and contrast kind of thing. I was so, I don't actually think I gave you uh, a review or my thoughts on the movie. No. I was so pissed but off. But don't say nothing. I will. I will. Go, oh, I'll look. I was going to say. It wasn't bad. I was going to go into it blind and come back. I'm biased. Oh, well. Okay. Then I'm not going to say any more. No, it's cool. I'm actually pretty good at separating other people's opinions from how I perceive things. So, but I, I, I'm, I got a feeling it's going to be just like from book to movie. There's going to be crap they leave out. There's going to be stuff they alter that you really wish they would have left. And in I, the end, it's going to be a very unfulfilling experience that does not match. I'm going to let you watch it. <laughs> I'm going to end up super disappointed, aren't I? <laughs> uh, it... It, the movie, the idea behind it, everything that happened wasn't bad. They really shot some of the characters for me. Well, that sucks. I hope they don't mess with Ale, because I love Ale oh, so much. B. Why'd you have to? <laughs> Why'd I have to like it? He is just, he's this adorably awkward, you know, genius little. Cool he dude. is a, he is the best part of that show. I love him. I adore him so much. I mean, they did yeah. such a good job at like just breaking down like his mannerisms and everything in it. Is. Oh yeah, like he, the the anime. Whoever designed the anime was just fantastic. It was really everything about him was fantastic. L was hands down probably. Ooh, that's a good one. He's probably one of my top, definitely my top favorite anime characters of all time. Him and, him. and Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Two favorite anime I'm, characters. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I never watched Cowboy Bebop because I just could not get over the name. I'm saying extremely <laughs> precious. <laughs> so is it, the, I'm like, what is this bullshit? Now, the... <laughs> Do you know the reason why it's called Cowboy Bebop? Well, no. So, in space, if you're a bounty hunter, they call you a cowboy. Okay, yeah. so, so Spike and Jet are cowboys, and their ship is called the Bebop. Okay. So it's Cowboy Bebop. Gotcha. I know that doesn't help, does it? Okay, okay, I don't know if you remember the show. No, it does, it was just, no. No, let's just compare this to the worst, it's a good anime, let's compare it to the worst named anime, quite possibly that I can think of in recent memory, early 2000s, Samurai Champloo. What? <laughs> I, no joke, it was a really good anime. Samurai Champloo was the name of this anime. I'm yeah. sorry. All yeah. Right. Yeah. The, uh, Cowboy Bebop is, I would say, a much better title than than Samurai Champloo. And I'm plus, not going to argue with that at all. <laughs> the theme music, that intro music for Cowboy Bebop with the jazzy jazz and the tootie tunes. Oh, that was good. 
It's so good. So I don't good. I like imagine you dancing to this just a little bit, just a wiggle in the chair. I do. I wiggle door. in my chair. I got. <laughs> but I do it like a James Bond thing. Like I got rhythm to it. It's so good. So good. Oh my god. The music da -da. in. That's one thing I will say Cowboy Bebop has Death Note beat on, hands down. The music in Cowboy Bebop is so good. Oh, I hate because this map. Because it's got a catchy theme song. It does have a catchy theme song. I hate this map. This map sucks. This map's horrible. I was gonna say, Mom's buffer. Oh, we just both used a charge move. I am over here dicking around on like my third playthrough of Inquisition. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. You get obsessed with games. That's okay. I do. Like, if there's more than one ending, I have to know the rest of these endings. Well, see, that's that's one thing I'll gripe about Bioware for, is their endings have never been like, oh my god, this one's so much more unique than the other one. Like, I feel like all of them kind of play into yes, each other. They're, they're a little similar, but I mean, like, the first uh, ones I kind of, you know, especially in Dragon Age, I kind of got... Because, you know, there's a sequel coming up. They can't have it differ extremely oh, yeah. and then be able to still keep the same storyline. Did they ever do anything with Morgan, uh, Morgan's baby? Was there ever anything with that? He does show up and Flemeth tries to pull some shit with him, but that, that's about it. In what game? Because I never played any of the deals. Inquisition. DLC. Okay. See, I never beat Inquisition because I always get drowned in side quests. Oh, you, you got, yeah. That is one thing I did notice. Like my first playthrough, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much bullshit that I have. Do I have to do all this? And then I, yeah, started looking into it. It's like you just have to require these many points to move on the story. So I just literally started doing enough shit to move the story along. And pretty much, if you just do like your companion quest, it's plenty to move the story. Okay. So you really don't have to do all the extra stuff. But the thing is, like, don't you... No. Don't they disappear? What? The quest? No. Yeah. Like, your compet... No, your quest still stay there after you're done. You can keep playing. Okay. But, like, I think my, some of your companion quests disappear, especially... If you haven't played the end of it, I'm not gonna tell you what okay. goes down, but... Some of your companions aren't gonna be around anymore. Do they die? At the end of it? I'm not telling you. Okay, I understand. Oh gosh, I, I'm so bad at this because I really, I'm like, oh my gosh, you, you want to tell me? This is ended. I, I will... want you to know. So since you told me this, I probably, I probably will go back and play it. Like I said, just do, just do the companion quest. It is just enough to move it along. Now here's the thing, any character that I do not like, I do not put in my party. That's fine. So I will still be able to... to do that. To, what, to like make it through the game? You... Yes. Like, yeah, I, you won't need him. I don't like... Uh, I know you're gonna disagree with me. I don't like Sarah. I don't like Sarah. Awesome. I don't like Iron Bull. I don't either. Um, but I play as a warrior, so I don't even need him, really. Yeah. I love Cole. God, I love Cole. I do, Cole. too. He's adorable. Love Cole. Okay, so I, I gotta ask this before we end the show. I made him a human. Okay. What did you do? I made him a human. I, now I, I know don't... everybody harps on that shit. Like, it's, oh, it's an original. I don't, I don't really give a shit. But I don't it's know. It's what I enjoy. I just want to know what happens if he becomes stays a spirit, you know? That's yeah, what I want to know. I don't know. I actually haven't done that yet. I just... Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I want to do it, but I don't know. It just doesn't... 
Well, maybe on this playthrough. Maybe this playthrough. Gonna, yeah, maybe on this playthrough I will turn him into a spirit. We'll see how that breaks down. And on the next show, you can tell us all about it. Uh, I do want to say this. I'm going to get there. You shut up. You're <laughs> going to get there. I want to say this. If you have not seen what happened to Monday, it's a super interesting movie. It's so good. If you don't know the premise behind it, for all my people who are going to watch this on YouTube, the premise behind it is there are seven identical twins born in a world that you can only have one child. All the other ones are taken and cryogenically frozen for the future. That way they don't have to keep producing more and more and more food. So China. It's, it's basically like, exactly, it's just like China. But there's seven identical twins and William Defoe, her, their mother dies during birth. And William Defoe takes them in as their grandfather. Oh. And so what he names them is Monday through Sunday. That's their names. And every time, every day of the week that their name comes up, one of them gets to go outside. And then they have to come back in and report back. Everything that happened that day. So one day Monday will go, the next day Tuesday will go, the next day Wednesday will go. And all of them are different. But Monday, the reason it's called What Happened to Monday, is Monday goes missing. And so now there's two identical twins out there in the world looking for each other, and then there's five more back at home. It's a really wonderful movie. The ending was a bit of a letdown. But just the, the thrill from point A to point B is really, really good. I definitely suggest it after you watch Death Note. Will do. I was going to say, I do love William Dafoe. I love oh, him dearly. He is he's, wonderful. He is so good. I will say this. He is the best part of the Death Note movie. He plays Ryuk in the Death Note movie. So this is just going to be like a William Dafoe tribute for the next you know week or two of Death Note. What happened I, to Monday? One, once you listen to William Defoe's voices, Ryuk and Death Note, you'd be like, why in the world was he not in the anime? He was, he is that good, so good. I don't know. I like Ryuk's voice. It fits him very well in the it's, in the anime. I love, I love Ryuk. I thought it was great. But like I said, once you listen to William Defoe, you're just like, he's got that snarky. I'm playing with you, and I've got all this power voice. I'm, I'm like, so oh. concerned he's going to sound like the freaking Green Goblin. Um, <laughs> not, he doesn't oh, sound... Watch out, Peter Parker! He's, he's, <laughs> what the he's kind he's kind of got that vibe, he's just not as angry. So, but he's really mm. great. It's really great. Yeah, I think you'll love it. So, finish watching Death Note, watch what happened to Monday, and then, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitch. Do all that fun stuff. Turn your notifications on so you can actually see when I post this stuff. And thank you for watching. As always, this has been Claudio23 along with my wonderful sister, the Vincible Honey Bee. Say, say goodbye, Bee. Good night. And, of course, my beautiful wife who is drunk somewhere, I'm sure. Thank you all for watching. She Have a fantastic night. <laughs>